Hi, Capricorn, and thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing really, really well as we have our holiday week for those that celebrate Christmas. I wish you a very happy holidays with your friends and your family. Okay, so we have the Three of Swords, we have the Five of Wands, and we have the Three of Cups. We have a couple of threes, interesting. And so with the Three of Swords, we see the swords here making this uh, angle <laughs> right into uh, bloody flowers. Hmm. Over a snow, snowy landscape. So when we think of the Three of Swords, we take it for really what it is, which is our heart hurts. Our soul may be hurting too. It's the whole kit and caboodle of feeling pain, of feeling betrayal. It could be, uh, you could be the recipient of someone else being a gossip or being nasty or being mean-spirited to you. And you know, unfortunately it happens a lot these days. People say, th say some things without thinking. And whether this is from a relationship, whether this is a feeling of loss from something that you have lost, maybe a dear friend, maybe a partner, uh, maybe the relationship is, is damaged or on its way out. You know, we feel the heaviness that's associated with the Three of Swords. It's unpleasant and it's tiring and exhausting because our emotions take a beating. And how do we deal with these moments when we feel hurt and we feel disappointed or regretful or uh, that someone has really hit us hard, emotionally hit us hard? Well, we have to find a way to process the hurt, to acknowledge the hurt, to accept that it's happened. You know, and once unkind words or once unkind behaviors have been sent out there and you're, you've been the recipient, you know, you can't undo that. You have to, you have to figure it out for yourself in order for you to move on, either to forgive, move on, cut your losses, and to be able to get yourself back in a better place. But this is, you know, it's pain and suffering, the three of swords. And ultimately, we learn a thing or two from this. And it's just the way of life. It's unfortunate that we have to have life lessons that come from suffering or from heartache. But we take them and we take whatever lessons and we try to make sense of them in our own life. So here's this sense of hurt, disappointment. And then we have the five of wands, which often goes to conflict. It can go to arguments, petty disagreements. It's just the inability of people to see eye to eye or work together. And so perhaps as a result of this situation, here are the three of swords, you know, someone has gotten hurt out of the process. You know, maybe someone has attacked your professional reputation. There are uh, many, many, many ways. And it was, it's interesting just because, um, one of the uh, manual lymph therapists that I see for my arm on a regular basis, you know, someone uh, screwed around with her appointment and then ended up leaving her like a one-star review, which is, for a business, that's not a good thing. And it wasn't a regular client. It was just someone who um, was a no-show or something and then left a nasty review. And that is, uh, that's kind of what we have to deal with at times is that between this three of swords, between people not working together, not seeing eye to eye, you know, emotions and feelings take, take a beating or, you know, get bruised. So how do we get out of it? Again, we have to focus on what's good. We have to put ourselves in the direction of people that we really enjoy and who support us and who are there regardless. And, um, you know, the five of wands, if it's in a work situation, if too much ego and, uh, inability to, to work toward the end result is, you know, you need to start talking about it and you either need to go up the chain to the supervisor or, or 
do something because, you know, this can be a stalemate and it needs to, it needs to be broken. It needs to be able so you can move on. So with the three of swords and the five of wands, here we have the three of cups. And I see the three of cups as the ray of sunshine within this reading, the light, which is time with the people that care for you, time with people of your tribe who support you, who love you, whether they're your best friends, co-workers that you um, connect with, or your partner, whoever it may be, it's the group that is listening to each other, sharing with each other, calming each other down and giving each other props or trying to prop them up. You know, so when you are feeling low or if you're feeling under attack, if you're feeling disappointed, reach out to people, reach out to your dear ones, make a date, whether it's for coffee, whether it's to go see a movie or just to hang out and play card games or board games at the, you know, at the house that is vital in terms of picking your spirit back up and not letting this continue on and on and, and living with it because that's no good. That's not good for health and your mental status as well. It's just like deal with it, you know, as if you were ripping off a bandage and it really hurt, you know, you just suck it up and then you try to make some sense of things and put yourself into the direction of the people that care for you the people that are there for you, the real people in your life. So interesting that it is threes because it's about the relationships of groups, of, um, you know, how we communicate. And sometimes the communication is not so ideal. So here we have three and five is eight. Eight and three is 11. It's a master number. It's the master number of service, of generosity, of kindness of looking out for the benefit of others. So many ways to be of service from, again, the support and the phone call or the, uh, you know, uh, dropping by when someone needs a hand, sending a check out when you're in a position to do so. Many ways to be of service. It's rewarding and it's, I think it's just a part of what should be the social consciousness of all, which is to help others. So with that, let's see what we have in terms of an affirmation for the day. Blessings. Blessings from the heavens. And again, number one, count your blessings. Realize that there are blessings out there for you to contemplate on, to meditate, surround yourself with the people who let their light shine. Make them the priority versus the ones that are going to steal your light or suck your energy. So follow the light, count your blessings, be grateful for blessings that we have that the universe bestows on us each day. So with love to you all, I hope you